every single person has 24 hours in the day no more you'll never be given anymore so either you get it done or you don't and it's that simple either you make excuses or you figure it out you get the life that you want to or you don't there is nothing in between today we're going to talk about how to stop being so freaking lazy and how to be more motivated so we're going to talk about how to stop being lazy how to be more motivated and i'm going to give you one of my secrets that I teach my highest paying clients of how to be more motivated and how to be more driven, which in turn will then make sure that you're less lazy. And one of the biggest questions that I get on my Facebook, on my Instagram, I get so many messages on Instagram from people is how can I be more motivated? There's so many people that are out there in the world right now that just feel demotivated with all of the heaviness in the world, all of the things that are going on, all of the uncertainty. So many people are just so curious, how can I be more motivated? Because I don't feel that motivated. And the, the, the really important part of that is the feeling motivated. And we're just gonna dive in. I want you to remember this quote for the rest of your life. Let action and routine drive your life, not emotion, right? When you don't feel motivated, it's because that's a feeling. That's an emotion. So let action and routine drive your life, not emotion. Now, I'm not saying that emotions are bad. I think emotions are amazing things. But what I'm saying is don't let your emotion run your life. Let action and routine drive your life, not emotion. So one of the reasons why I find that so many people are not motivated and they're not driven towards the life that they want is because they have no plan and they have no intention. They don't know where they're going. And when you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you need to do to get there. And it's hard to take the right action when you don't even know where the hell you're trying to go. So it's very simple if you think about it. You know, if you don't know where you're, if, if you're not motivated, you don't feel driven and you don't have a plan, you don't have an intention, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you need to do to get there, then it's hard to take the right action to go that direction, right? Most people, hopefully not you, wake up and when they wake up, they have very little vision for what their life is going to be. They have very little vision for what direction they're going into. They have very little plans for exactly what they're going to do. And they try to figure it out as the day goes by. And then they feel like the whole day, they're just in reaction mode and reaction mode and reaction mode. And they're just putting out fires. Have you ever felt that way before? You just kind of see what happens. It's like getting into your car every single morning, not knowing where you're going to go and just driving around and taking random turns and then getting pissed off that at the end of the day, you're not, your car, you and your car are not where you want it to be when you don't even know where you want it to be in the first place. You just woke up and you're like, I'm gonna just drive and just turn left here and I'm gonna turn left here, I'm gonna turn right here. Well, no sh you're not where you wanna be because you had no vision as to where you're going. You had no plan as to where you're going. You had no intention, you literally had nothing. What makes you think that driving your car with no direction is any different than waking up in the morning and having no direction? It's the exact same thing. But of course you want where you want to be because you don't even know where you want to be. The example I always give that tends to make sense for people, it's like your mom calls you up and it's November. She's like, hey honey, I'm gonna buy some Christmas gifts. What do you want for Christmas? And you're like, oh, I don't know. Just, you know, give me whatever. She's like, are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't, I'm, just whatever, give me something. I'm like, okay, cool. And then on Christmas, you open the gift from your mom and you look at it and you're like, what the hell, mom? This isn't what I wanted. Like, how could you get mad at your mom for not giving the gift that you wanted when she asked you what you wanted and you didn't tell her? That's how a lot of people are living their lives. I don't like where my life is. Well, what's your vision? I don't know. It's the exact same thing as not asking for the gift that you want. You've got to figure out what it is that you want to start working for. And so here are the five things that you have to have in order to create the life that you want and to stop being so lazy and to be more motivated. The first thing is vision. The second thing is schedule. The third thing is intention. The fourth thing is action. And the fifth thing is routine. We're gonna go through each one of these. So the first one, vision. What do you want in your life? Like this is such a simple question, but majority of people who I talk to have no idea what they want in their life. Where the hell are you going? What do you want? What do you want your life to look like? Where do you want to be? Let me ask you a very simple question. Where do you want to be in 12 months? Where do you want to be? What do you want to look like? What do you want your body to look like? How much money do you want to have in your bank account? Where do you want to be in your career? Where do you want to be in your schooling? Where do you want to be in 12 months? It's a very simple question, but have you actually sat down with a pen and paper and written down 
everything that you want to accomplish and everything that you want to achieve and everything that you want to have over the next 12 months. If you haven't, then you're just driving blindly through life and not actually going anywhere. So where do you want to be in 12 months? I got another question for you. Where do you want to be in five years? Where do you want to be? You're going to be somewhere. Where do you want that to be? Because I promise you, if you don't make a decision on where you want to be right now, you're just driving your car around and you don't even know where it's going. You're just like, all right, car, let's see where we're going. We're going to take some lefts. We're going to take some rights. And maybe we'll end up at a mansion. Maybe we'll just end up at a shack. I don't know where we'll, eat. we'll end up. Figure it out. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be in 10 years? If you don't know, then you'll never get the life that you want. You have to know what you want in order to go and work for it. You'll never hit a target that you cannot see. So what do you want? I feel like I'm, I feel like it's the notebook. What do you want? I don't know. It's not that easy. Yes, it is. Just freaking figure out what it is. What do, what do you want? I don't know. Yes, write it down. What the hell do you want in your life? Figure it out. Okay, that's the first thing. Vision. Now that we've got a vision, we've written down what we want. <clears throat> now we got to make a schedule. One of the biggest excuses, which is complete BS, that I hear from so many people, so many people, is I don't have enough time, okay? I don't have, oh, Rob, I, I, I want to become a millionaire and I want to run this successful business and I want to make money and make a massive impact in the world, but I don't have enough time. Really? You don't have enough time? Poor you. Maybe one day you'll be blessed with more than 24 hours in the day, right? No, you have enough time. It's just that 99% of people are absolutely terrible at scheduling their time. I was running a, a meeting for some of my higher level coaching clients, all business owners. And I was saying, who here, we we're on a Zoom call, I said, who here has said in the past month, I don't have enough time or thought that you don't have enough time? Raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. I said, all right, keep your hand up. If you would be really nervous, if I said, you need to show me your schedule for the week right now and everybody's hand stayed up. And I said, why is that? It's not because you don't have enough time. It's because you're absolutely terrible at scheduling your time. It's not that you don't have enough time. It's that you're terrible with time management. And that's the truth. Most people are terrible with time management. And that's something that's good. Do you want to know why it's good? Because it's a skill set. You can always develop a skill set. You're not just talented. At the, at, there's no talent there. It's just a skill set. So you've got to get better at managing your time, right? Every single person has 24 hours in the day no more. You'll never be given anymore. So either you get it done or you don't. And it's that simple. Either you make excuses or you figure it out. You make excuses or you find a way. That's it. You make excuses or you find a way. You get the life that you want to or you don't. There is nothing in between. And then some people are like, well, Rob, but I want to start this successful business, but I've got a full-time job. Okay. Has there ever been another person in the history of mankind that has started a successful business, but had a full-time job? There has? Okay. Well, then clearly it's possible. Someone else has done it. Why aren't you doing it? Oh, Rob, but I also have children. Okay. Has there ever been somebody in the history of mankind who's ever started a successful, successful business with a full-time job and with children? There is? Okay. Then what's the difference? If they can do it, you can do it as well. So what you start doing, you start realizing that what you're doing is you're externalizing all of your excuses. It's, it, I don't have enough time. That's outside of me. I've got a full-time job. That's outside of me. I've got kids. That's outside of me. You need to take all of your blame and all of your responsibility and stop putting it on something else and start putting it on yourself. Figure it out because you're not going to get more time. So the one thing that I always tell people I got from Gary Vaynerchuk, not a long, you know, probably about five years ago, he says, stop saying you don't have enough time and just start saying it's not a priority for me and see if that switches your mindset on something. Don't say I don't have enough time. You've got enough time. You could find time. But the difference is you just haven't found the time. You haven't scheduled it correctly. I'm not saying take time away from your children and never see them to build your business. What I'm saying is get better at scheduling your time. Once the kids go to bed, do you have a couple hours you can build your business? Do you have the weekends? What can you do to make sure that you're building life that you want to? Okay, that's the schedule side of it. Number three is your intention. Do you wake up every single day with intention? with a plan for the day, what you're going to do, how you're going to feel, what you're going to accomplish, what would make today an absolute success, or are you just driving that car around and just taking some random turns and just seeing what happens, right? What is your intention every single day? One of the biggest things that I find that holds people back is that they're not intentional with their life. They're not intentional with their day. 
And they're just, as I've been saying, in reaction mode. You have to have intention. How do I wanna show up today? What would make today an absolute success? How can I impact someone else? How can I make sure that I bring $500 into my business today, $1,000 into my business today? I'm gonna to set an intention because it's kind of like just going, all right, I'm gonna be throwing darts anyways. I might as well try to find the bullseye. I wanna hit that bullseye. What would the bullseye for today look like for you? Sit down with a pen and paper. Ask yourself those questions. Figure it out. Sit down and be more intentional with every single day that you have. So you've got to have intention. So now that we have, what do you have so far before we go a little bit further? Number one, we have a vision. We know where we're going. Number two, we have a schedule. We at least know what we're supposed to do. Number three, we have intention. We know what we want to accomplish for the day. We know how we want to show up. We know how we want to be. We know how we want to act. Okay, what do we need to do now? Speaking of act, number four is action. You've got to freaking do it. You've got to get your body moving. Emotion follows the body. Let me say that again so it gets really deep in every single person's head. Your emotions follow your body. When you don't feel good, I guarantee 95% of the time, it's because you've been lounging around not doing anything today. It's because you've been spending the past 45 minutes on Instagram. It's because you're not doing what you need to do. Your body will adapt to the... Our bodies are the most incredible machines on the entire planet. There is nothing more incredible than our bodies. <clears throat> but when you just let your body do what it's going to do, it's it's not as good as it could be. When you take control of it and you say, okay, you know, I've been, I don't, I don't feel really good. I don't really feel motivated today. Usually when you don't feel good, you don't feel motivated. You're usually, if I'm being hundred percent honest, you've been spending the past 30 minutes on Instagram, staring at your phone, watching TV, watching the news, and just allowing your body, your brain, everything, your emotions to be taken by something outside of you, right? When you don't feel good, get your body moving. Your body has this incredible adapting mechanism that once you start moving, once you start going and you feel like you're moving in the right direction, you get more excited, your body releases dopamine, and then it actually gives you more motivation. Dopamine is the, the motivation chemical inside of your brain. I'll give you a perfect example today. I worked out really hard yesterday. I worked out really hard today, the day before. And then my girlfriend, Lauren, was like, do you wanna work out today? I was like, ah, not really. Like, I feel like I need a little bit of a recovery day, but I'll come out and I'll work outside. So I made a, a plan for her to work out. And I was like, I'm gonna do some movements with you just to kind of get my body moving and to kind of, you know, get the lactic acid out of my body, turn on some music, crank it. And I get about 10 minutes into moving. And I went from not wanting to do anything to 10 minutes into moving. I'm like, I'm going to finish this workout with you, right? Because my body adapted to the circumstances. And because I was starting to move and I felt better about the movement, what happened? Then my, I started to get dopamine release and the dopamine goes, Hey Rob, keep going. This is good. And I was like, this is pretty good dopamine gets released when a person feels like they're going into the direction that they want to. So when I'm looking at myself in the, the window and I'm like, I'm actually starting to look pretty good. I wasn't motivated today. Now I'm motivated. My body releases, my brain releases dopamine and then it gives me more motivation to keep working. So action is absolutely required. Get some action moving. Emotion follows the body. Get the body moving. Just get started, whatever you have to do. If you want to work out today, but you really don't feel like working out today, what do you have to do? You have to just start moving in that direction. Okay. Action turns into what? When you do action over and over and over and over again, what does it turn into? It turns into a routine. Do you have a set routine for your life? Do you have certain things that you have to do every single day? Do you have a morning routine? Do you have an evening routine? Do you have consistent daily action? Because consistent daily action creates routines for you and routines drive your life. So many people that I've found, they feel like routines are very restrictive. So do you feel like routines are restrictive where you're like, oh, I want more freedom? Have you ever felt that way? What's interesting is that once you get really routined, you realize that all of your freedom is within that routine. All of your freedom comes from that routine and you go, oh, when I know what I'm going to be doing every single morning, I just have to show up and then I can, I can be free in that routine not just like wake up and have no intention. I wake up, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, and there is freedom in routines. And so many people I've seen do this where they don't, they don't like routines because they don't want to feel restricted. Then they force a routine on themselves and they realize there's a lot of freedom in that routine. And so they force themselves to keep being more routine and they enjoy the routine after a while. So do you have set routines, the morning routines, the evening routines? 
Consistent daily action creates routines. Routines are what drive your life. What routines do you need? So if you're lazy or you're unmotivated, if you have a vision, if, if you don't have a vision of where you're going, you're not going to get there. But if you have a vision, if you have a schedule, if you have intention, a plan of action and set routines, it's going to make your life a lot easier to get there, right? Would you be more motivated every single day when you wake up, if you had a vision, a beautiful vision of all of the happiness and the joy and the love and the success and the money and the travel and the, the adventure that you could have? Would you be more motivated if you could see that in your future? If you had that vision? Would you be more motivated if you had a schedule of exactly what you needed to do every day to accomplish that? Would you be more motivated if you had an intention of how you wanted to show up, how you wanted to be, how you wanted to treat people, how you wanted to be as yourself in, in how you want to impact the world? Would you be more motivated if you had a plan of exactly how to get there? And would you be more motivated if you had set routines that would get you step by step by step closer to where you want to go? Would you be more motivated and be less lazy? Yes, of course. So. I have an assignment for you. Grab a journal right now and answer these questions. You can pause me if you need to, if you're watching these videos, there's a pause button, pause it. If you're listening to me on the Mindset Mentor Podcast, you can pause me, grab your journal. If you're driving, please don't grab your journal. Do it when you get home, whatever you gotta do. Here's my questions I have for you. Write them all down and then journal through them. Where do you wanna be in 12 months? Where do you wanna be in five years? Where do you wanna be in 10 years? Figure those three questions out first. Next, what is my daily schedule to start moving in that direction? Now that I know where I wanna be, what is my schedule that I can set up to start myself moving in that direction? Next question, what intentions do I need to set daily? Maybe it's workout intentions, maybe it's work intentions, maybe it's character intention of how you want to act, how you wanna treat people. What are your intentions that you need to set every single day so you're actually like moving in the direction you want to versus feeling like you're just putting out fires, okay? Next question, what actions do I need to accomplish today? What actions do I need to accomplish today? And then last question, what routines do I need to create? Here's the beautiful thing about all of this. It's not rocket science. It's freaking simple. People act like success is so hard. Success is not hard. It just requires you to do the simple things every single day. Just show up every single day. It's about creating a plan. It's first off creating a vision, then creating a plan of how to accomplish that vision to get you from where you are right now to where you wanna be. Because here's the answer to all of it. We're all gonna be somewhere in 10 years. Hopefully we're all alive. We're all gonna be somewhere in 10 years, but the actions that you take today will decide where that somewhere is going to be. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. I would rather have someone steal money from me than steal time from me because I'm never going to get that back.